Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello beautiful people, welcome to Global Happiness Today. This is one trending news that has been trending all over social media. I plead with Nigerians both in diaspora and in Nigeria all over the world to please join in, to, in, in this debate and take a stand. Which do you prefer? Nigerians are going through a lot of inflations are, inflations are eroding the value of Naira and this is what our House of Rep members, our honorable members, our senators are saying. In a moment, you're going to find out exactly the solutions they have proffered. I don't know if you're moving backward or forward. And there are reasons for doing that as well. Before we do that, we we'll like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you will see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube where the House of Representatives as of Tuesday to the 2nd of March 2022 urged the Central Bank of Nigeria to reinforce the use of coins as a legal tender in the country. In a resolution it passed in Abuja, the House called on the Apex Bank to ensure that commercial banks complied with the use of the coins to the fullest. A member from Bauchi State, Rep. Munda Lawa Omar, moved the motion on the matter which was unanimously passed by his colleagues. Leading the debate, he urged that the lack of coins has significantly affected smooth financial transactions involving particular, particularly ordinary Nigerians who now bore the brought of prices summed up to the nearest Naira equivalent. His motion reads partly, the House notes that on February 28, 2007, as part of the economic reforms under the former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Sanusi Lamido Sanusi, 15 Naira, 20 Naira, 10 Naira, and 5 Naira banknotes were reissued with new designs as well as the coining of 1 Naira and 50 Kobo, while a new 2 Naira coin was also introduced. Also notes that despite the huge budgetary sum, that was expanded and expanded by the federal in the production of these coins as part of the legal tender the said coins seem to be extinct at the moment observes that the day-to-day -day business transactions of ordinary nigerians have been significantly affected as the lack of coins and other lower denominations have resulted in prices being summed up to the nearest naira equivalent a situation that can best be described as inflation in economic terms. Worried that while other countries make use of coins for their daily financial transactions, the Nigerian coins comprising the 50 Kobo, 1 Naira and 2 Naira have not been fully utilized in that regard, believes that injecting low denominations and coins into the economy will go a long way in curbing price inflation and, and stabilizing the economy. His key prayer was to urge the Central Bank of Nigeria to reinforce the use of coins as a legal tender and ensure that banks comply with the use of coins to the fullest. To the fullest, the motion succeeded by an, uh, a unanimous voice vote. All right, Nigerians have taken turns to react to this, but the truth of the matter is, to a great extent, yes, because if you put in those coins, to a great extent, what is talked about the issue of summation makes a lot of sense also. But let's also be real here. One of the things okay, okay that can, you know, reduce the level of uh, theft and uh, reduce the level of both theft, physical and uh, economic theft could be that use of coins. Can imagine you want to go and draw fifty thousand naira, you know. But the good news is that you don't need to. The, the bank doesn't need to give it to you in coins. All right. You can imagine carrying fifty thousand naira in coins. It, it's, it's it's terrible. It's crazy. But then you see some countries still having something like. Um, one million naira or one million as a a, a, a currency, the one piece of note as a legal tender that of course already is inflation calling but the question is is the coins really the bone of contention now they have given such lump sum amount of money to produce these coins but yet not even one kubo is in circulation i'm sure some persons uh if you are not born in the early early 80s early 90s you, i don't think you would, be, you would have seen five cobble 
one kobo, ten kobo, twenty kobo, even fifty kobo. Is those who have you know I think it started going into extinction in the 1993, 94, thereabouts. You know, and you need to hear this what Nigerians are saying. Honestly, to tell you the truth, coins are the least of Nigerian problem economically. We have a lot of problems hanging. Even if these politicians want to take money, are they going to go to the bank and they give what happens to bank transfer? What happened to bank transfer? We can stay one place and just wire how many million and it will go. Is that not the same issue they are talking about with the will you be no? with the monies the can look at the amount of money they say they have gone missing? Does it require Kobo Kobo and coins to go for it to happen? All it took was probably transfer cash here and there and that's it. So coin or no coin Somebody asked questions on, on, on the platform and said, what, how many things can, can, can 50 Kobo buy right now? So when you're saying you're summing up, summing up, how much are they summing up that will cause the whole economy of Nigeria to be inflated? Yes, feel the pause of Nigeria because Nigerians have not spared the rep at all. But of course, you have your intake as a Nigerian. You can go ahead and tell us, do you agree with them really? But let's find out what people are saying generally concerning this matter. This one here is saying, nonsense and useless resolution. A bag of sachets of water is 300 naira. Fuel is 230 naira per liter. A sachet of milk is 80 naira. Multi church just announced that they will increase price for all the packages they offer starting from April 1st. Legislative oversight function is no longer functioning. So people are already laughing. Somebody here said, even if you like reinforced stones, a failed economy is a failed economy. This one here is saying, they don't know what they are doing because most of them don't spend 15, 15 naira, not to talk of coins. And moreover, 10 naira is useless in Nigeria right now, as of today, as you cannot even buy anything in the market with 10 naira. You can still buy sweets. I think you can still buy chewing gum 10 naira. Am I sure? I'm not so sure. Even biscuit these days is sweet naira. This one here is saying, which what coin? Is it Bitcoin or in naira? That's rubbish. Another person here is saying. Uh, thank God the day our lawmakers are now beginning to feel the heat and getting no sense. If the coins were still in circulation, inflation rate would not have been this high. No nation economy succeeds without coins, even Europe, even UK. Uh, they still have, they still do pens. They still do some little, little coins. We started well as a nation. I don't know how we got to this level. They said that they wanted to produce. When I heard that those days they wanted to produce 1,000 naira note, I, I screamed. 200 naira then was, I think 200 naira then was the highest denomination. Yeah, 100 naira then was the highest denomination. Then the next thing we had 200 naira, then 500, then 1000. I was like, I hope they would not go ahead. They were even trying to even produce 5000 before Nigerians screamed. This one here is saying, these people know they written well at all. Why can't they talk about so much hardship people are feeling, especially the higher price of products and services, including fuel and so on? They are busy talking about coins that will not have any form of monetary value and economic importance. It will in, in the long run, but the importance or the effect may not be felt now. Nigerians, this whole inflation is cumulative. It has taken a long time to get to this level. So they need to also start doing very quickly for Nigerians to feel effect or else the level of uh, protest that will hit, hit this country called Nigeria because there's a level you can push the citizens right now they're still uh, hoping and praying but